New tonight here at 10 o'clock, a man is facing federal charges after being accused of trying to pass through Philadelphia International Airport's security area with a gun in his shoe. Action News reporter Dan Quay, our live force now at Philadelphia International Airport with the full story. Dan. Shari, you would think that with fewer people traveling due to COVID, there would be fewer people trying to get weapons through TSA checkpoints. But actually, we are told that number has skyrocketed. In the latest incident, TSA says a Philadelphia man tried to get through a checkpoint with an unloaded 25 caliber pistol artfully concealed in his shoe. Conclusion, they say this was not a case of forgetfulness, but an intentional effort to try and board a plane with a gun. Somebody was pretty determined to try to sneak a gun uh, through the checkpoint, and we're just as determined to make sure that that does not happen. Not only are TSA officers highly skilled at what they do, they have the latest technology at their disposal. Five new state-of-the-art 3D scanners located throughout Philadelphia International. The TSA officer can manipulate that screen uh, and so I, they can look at the bag and very many different angles to try to determine what's inside. For the record, TSA officials note that the number of people caught trying to get guns passed through checkpoints this year is sharply up. In July of last year across the U.S., TSA detected 5.1 guns per million travelers. In July of this year, it was 15.3 guns per million, more than three times higher. Here's the kicker. There's a pandemic. Passenger volume due to COVID has been down since March in the neighborhood of 70 to 75 percent. So why is there an increasing number of people illegally trying to get on board planes with guns? We think that a lot of these people who are traveling just are not familiar with the rules and regulations. Even so, it's been illegal to bring a gun on a plane long before TSA came into existence just after 9-11. But sadder still is this. You actually can transport your gun on a plane. We're happy to help you do that. For his part, the president of the local TSA local has this message for people trying to bring guns on board planes illegally. Our guys are sharp, so you're going to get caught trying to get a gun from on its website, TSA outlines how you can legally transport your weapon on board a plane. And the TSA reserves the right to issue a separate federal penalty of up to $13,000 for those who try to do so illegally. Live at Philadelphia International, I'm Dan Quayar. Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Shari? All right, Dan, thank you.